It's a good day when we both get to say right now. I know, right? I, 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 Double I, trouble. I, I must... Welcome to Great Day, Connecticut, everyone. I'm Kara Sundlin. Scott Haney here. Nice to see you. I got my questions for Drew Carey already. You know, I'm super proud of him. I mean, he seems like such a nice guy, so I'm excited to talk to him. But yeah. he's 65. That's 65. incredible. Served in the Marines for six years as a sergeant. What? It's just... It's I mean, incredible. Who knew? But, uh, and it's such a fun chef. So we're, yeah, anyway. we're going to talk to him about that uh, coming up a little bit later on. All right. So cool news for iPhone users. Yep. Apparently, you can now update Apple's latest operating system. It has a bunch of new features. I love this FaceTime feature. <laughs> Yeah. If you can't answer a FaceTime call, no worries. Callers can now leave a video message complete, complete? with emojis. Isn't that exciting? Exchanging numbers is easier than this ever. This is even better. Yeah, you just bring your phones connect and they're like ding ding. That's awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. No more, hey, can you give me my number? I'm going to call you and blah blah blah. Right, blah, blah, or blah, blah. like here, give me your phone, I'll input my info. Exactly. Ba ba ba. Here and you go. And the autocorrect is a new upgrade. Now, I don't know. I'm still very skeptical of autocorrect. It often corrects the things I don't want. I know. But it says it's going to learn your keyboard habits and start adjusting to the way you talk. Big brother. Now, as you know, I do like to voice text and I got to say sometimes it's wrong. You voice text? Never. <laughs> Kara's walking around like this. And it's just simpler. Apparently, <laughs> apparently it's a mom <laughs> thing because my daughter sent me a TikTok making fun of moms that this is my mom. Have you cleaned your room yet? Have you done this? Mom, this. And uh, Caitlin says she does it too. So my, now my kids who are younger, you would think that they'd be all cool voice acting. They think it's such an old person thing to do. They They're only on snap. Thumb. They're on the snapper. But th they, they, they only thumb. They just, they type it out. They don't talk. They, they get so text. annoyed when I'm voice texting. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay. Hey, Fisher Price is fueling the NSYNC hype. The toy company has released a little people collector set featuring each member of the 90s boy band. This is awesome, Kara. Little people from the big, from, you get the boy band in little form. Look this is so cute. cute. No strings attached. Album cover. The set is available for 30 bucks on Amazon. I paid 30 bucks for the NSYNC This is dolls. an amazing Christmas gift. Yeah, I just it really think is. it is. You know, yeah. if you've got your Yankee swap or something like that, this That's would be hysterical. Really I bet you people will fight over the <laughs> NSYNC little people. I want Lance Bass. Is he in NSYNC? Yeah, that, well, now that's another way, right. yes. I got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and did they put Justin Timberlake in the little people? I'm sure they did, Okay, yeah. just want Absolutely. making sure. Just, yeah, I know he's, he might get his own little big doll, but, like, you know, he still should be with the band. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Katy Perry is about $225 million richer. Yeah, she's got something to roar about, they say. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The deal includes, uh, as she sold her catalog of music, anything released between 2008 and 2020, like Teenage Dream, Dark Horse, Firework, California Girls. And they say this um, is a is a great deal for everyone involved. But sure. um, Perry is going to wrap up her Las Vegas residency, which I would love. To, I, I've seen her in concert when she came to Mohegan Sun. Oh, you did see and her. And she's in a wonderful performer. I think it'd be really cool to see her in Vegas. Yeah. But uh, you know, it's wrapping up in November, right? She, you know, she rather this is a new trend. But I guess you know, as a new mom and all this, she, I, I don't know. This is the reason, but she's not gonna. She has all this money. She doesn't have to go tour if she doesn't want to. She can stay in one place with Vegas. So I don't, I don't know, but yeah, it sounds yeah. like it's... Good for her? Yeah. Doritos achieved a new record for the highest cheese pull after they pulled off a stunt in Somerset, England. A cheese pull, in case you didn't know what that is. That's I don't know a what big this chip. Is. They dipped it into cheese Do you believe people with a are helicopter. Doing this? How are people are doing this? Yeah, this was like a major job that people had to do. You know, think about the engineering that they had to think of. Do you to, look at this? How do you get a long cheese pull? <laughs> this is real cheese, apparently, and they yeah. pulled it 43, 14 foot tall replica of nachos, then stretched the cheese 49, 49 feet, feet without breaking. Without it breaking. So it's a stunt. They say it took a month to prepare. They had cheese scientists, helicopter pilots, now, the crews on the ground. Don't you think the wind <laughs> from the helicopter propeller would have prevented that from happening? I mean, I guess they had to have perfect conditions for a cheese pool. All right, it's never too late to start a new hobby, right? Our next story features a local man who went from a very high-stress job to creating beautiful art. He uses a technique you might not have heard of before. Here's Melissa Cole with his amazing story. This is called the Anchored Octopus. This one took probably maybe 30 hours. It, it's, it, sometimes I just lose track. Steve Cody of Wallingford made this piece of art by actually burning the wood. It's a relatively new hobby for this former corrections officer who retired after 20 years in 2018. I was always drawing since I was a kid. Um, and then uh, 
towards the end of my career in corrections, I ended up discovering pyrography. Um, I went to Harbor Freight and I saw an $8 wood burning pen. I brought it home, I started messing around with it and I was hooked. So what exactly is pyrography? Writing with fire is the actual term for it. Um, and it's funny how something that can destroy something with fire and heat could actually make beautiful artwork. So this one is for my customer in Mystic. So we wanted a mermaid coming up. I'm gonna have an octopus coming over this way. On a very high heat setting, Cody uses this small tool to char the wood and create the design. Notice he's not following a sketch. He has the idea in his head and freehands it. There's times where I'll look up and be like, oh my God, I can't believe I've been doing this for four hours. Um, it's that, for me, it's that enjoyable. When friends and family saw his creations, demand spread and his hobby soon turned into a full-time business. Nautical scenes are some of Cody's favorites to create. Now this was done on premium curly maple. So when I bought this slab, I saw all the grains and I knew it was gonna pop really nice. So this one is an actual coat rack. If there's a piece of wood, he can make something out of it. Cutting boards, pet portraits, and look how he transforms these used barrels into tables. So I get my barrels from Chamard Vineyards, Jonathan Edwards, uh, my whiskey barrels I get from Litchfield Distillery. So this barrel table, like I, when I first started making these, I was making the shorter ones. And then I think it was my sister, she said, can you make a taller one? So I was like, oh, I don't know how it's gonna balance, but I experimented a little bit, I put the crossbars, and then um, I decided, you know what? I can start doing storage. So now I can do wine bottles uh, with the wine barrel trees. I did a little shelf for the liquor bottles. Uh, this is actually a, a magnetic bottle cap catcher. Oh, cool. Um, but then uh, there's something about octopus. I think everybody loves octopus, but it's my f absolute favorite thing to burn. When I first started wood burning, the first thing I ever made was an octopus for my son, and it looks like a third grader made it. But now, I mean, it's just hours and hours and hours of practice. You'll find Cody at various shows across the Northeast selling his goods. That is, when he's not out in his shed, lost in the creative process. I went from a very stressful uh, work environment to something that I absolutely love. I'm passionate about it, and uh, it's just a, a great way to make a living. Now, that Steve Cody, incredible. it's amazing. Steve Cody does custom work. You can check out his website for more information. It is CodyCustoms.com. Isn't that beautiful? So cool. And I love how he just changed his whole life. Oh, it changed his whole life. Yeah. Unbelievable. Let's talk about changing your life. Are you dreaming of a vacation? Yeah. This fall, Great Day Connecticut and Eyewitness oh News have partnered with Avello Airlines to give you the Great Day Fall Getaway. You could win four tickets anywhere Avello Airlines flies. Today's keyword is what, Kara? Yukon. Enter to win or on today's qualifier coming up on Eyewitness News at 4. So again, the keyword is Yukon. So okay. here's what you do now. Go to WFSB.com, enter there. You'll put in the keyword and then stay tuned. Watch me at four and we'll see if you are a qualifier. Exciting. Yeah.